the birth of digital photography has brought great convenience and instant gratification of viewing photos to the masses. Almost overnight, it heralded the decline of analog photography, nearly pushing it towards the brink of extinction. When it comes to digital, gee, I even don't have one camera a month. At that period of time, it had forced many independent camera technicians to shut down their repair business. Luckily for Mr. Felipe, he managed to persevere. While digital cameras can be found on anyone with a smartphone today, many are going back to film photography to experience the tones and grains that gave film a unique look not found in digital. Since the year 2008, it has brought resurgence to the uptake of analog film cameras, and at the same time, it brought much needed business back to the camera technicians like Mr. Tay and Mr. Stephen Lee who managed to get through that unfavourable period. Located at Gulimat Road, Mr. Tay, who runs the camera consultant, has given many analog cameras a second life since the 1960s. He is even willing to repair cameras made before the Second World War, finding a great deal of satisfaction when he is able to bring it back to life. My apprentice time was 1969 when I started, until today. In my beginning of days when I learned how to fix camera, I just learned for fun, not about career. But end of the day, I end up to be my career. And of the work, you need to love your job. It doesn't care where you are. You work for somebody, you work for yourself, you need to love your job. And then you have the passion. If you don't love your job, you don't have a passion on things. It's, it's my philosophy about life in working. Mr. Stephen Lee is a third generation repair person for Camera Hospital. Located at Bankulan Street, he has been fixing cameras for the past three decades. Well, first of all, you must like the, the job, of course. Uh, then you can do a good job. Like any jobs, basically. You need to know about photography first before you can actually like do a good job on the camera, on the, on the repair. You can't just simply follow the steps. So, um, of course, you need to know where to get your stuff, like spare parts and all that. And also, you have to build up your reputation. Uh. I would say maybe at least 5 to 8 years. Because people, uh, they are giving you something that's worth thousands of dollars. And then leaving it in your good hand. Being a camera repair technician is not as easy as it seems. While it may not require the skills of a surgeon, having good eyesight and a pair of steady hands is necessary. According to both, it takes more than just skills, but passion and experience to conduct a proper repair job. Before you go further with all this, when a person brings a camera to you, they have a problem. You need to understand why, not just fix. Like I said, everyone knows how to fix a camera. but. To understand the reason why does this thing happen like this, that is the different issue. It needs years of experience, or unless you are born gifted. Although business has picked up in the past few years, this trade is still in danger of disappearing from the local scene. The time and requirements needed to become an accomplished repair technician has turned away many of the younger generations. Every trade, the young one was not willing to take most of them. They leave it die. What I worry about teaching the new generation, they ask too much nonsense actually. More than they learn. When you want to learn skill, usually, you learn first, listen first, before you act. But now, with the new generation, I find that before you try, you ask nonsense questions. Oh, believe it. You, you have to get the face with it. It's not me, myself. 
a lot of them are like this. So just leave it, see a new style is born. Who knows?